It's a Friday night, and I'm talking to a friend of mine, and we're talking about some of his issues. And in my mind, I just keep thinking about, you know, you could change certain things about your life, of which that would basically solve everything, like solve most of your issues. And I tell him that, I was like, you know, there is something about you, about the way you live, perhaps if you were to change it, things would get better. What ended up happening was that he did not change. He ended up just pretty much staying the same, or perhaps even digging deeper. And the thing is, you may have people in your life, you know, friends, family, you know, like you, perhaps you've been on self-development, self-improvement for a couple years now, for some time, and you see how you can improve, you see how this can improve other people's lives. You know, you see how stoicism, having a stoic mindset can better someone's life can lead to less stress in their life you see how getting good getting better sleep will drastically alter someone's life how they feel every single day you see how lifting in the gym has changed how you see yourself and therefore how you live in life you see all these great benefits and you want to share with other people and you want to tell everyone, like, you should do this, it'll help your life in this way, and you should also do this and this and this. And perhaps you think that you can convince them. You know, I think that when we're at this stage, we all think that we can just, we can convince them with the good aspects of these things, of these changes to their lives. And like, okay, we'll convince them with these things, and then they'll accept, and then they'll change. They'll be rational, that they'll realize how wrong they were. And the thing is that, if you've ever tried it, right? Most of the time, it's going to be just a maybe, you know? It's like, not very committed to the changes. Like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll do it, you know? Most of the time, it's going to be like that. I would say, very rarely, do people, like, just go into outrage and be like, no, like, fuck you, like, no, absolutely not. And then, there are the few that accept and actually change. But today I'm going to be focusing on those who are either maybes or don't accept at all. The thing is, they're one and the same. They really are one and the same. Because the person who says maybe is just trying to let you off easy. They're not trying to hurt your feelings. And, you know, they see that you want to help them, but they don't see it themselves. And no matter what, they simply, like, they don't but maybe they don't agree with you, maybe they don't listen to you, but certainly they won't act, they won't change, right? And so you try again and again, but nothing changes because they weren't gonna change in the first place. And then, you know, after some time, you know, after like a couple tries, right? Maybe it's like a couple months, maybe a couple years, right? And then your brain starts convincing you that, you know, it's been a while, we can try again. And then if you're totally convinced, you do try again, only to be reminded that it doesn't work. It still doesn't work. And in fact, you may actually just drive them further from the direction that you would wish they would go. That you would drive them further into their hole, which would only actually make things worse. And I think that everyone has experienced this, you know, especially with our parents, you know, it's like your parents tell you to do something. And then you're just like, no, no, just like sort of out of spite, no. Like, you can, like, sort of rationally think, like, afterwards, like, okay, yeah, this is, like, for me, right? But during the moment, it's just like, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I mean, certainly, I've had that, you know, at a certain younger age, you know. I was playing a lot of video games, right? My parents would constantly tell me to, you know, play less. Did I listen? No. Would I have listened, though? I don't think so. I think, in part, the constant nagging only made it worse. They only drove me to more because it wasn't my own idea it wasn't my own idea to quit video games until it actually became my idea to quit video games until I actually truly thought about it and then I then implemented it right my parents tried to force me onto one of their ideas and it didn't work because it never works it never works never like you never like imposing your will on someone else never works Unless, well, unless they do what you say, 
because you have authority. There are consequences to not following your orders, you know, like you're threatening them. Without these incentives, like, they won't change, right? And most of the time, without an internal, without a personal incentive, change is not everlasting. At most, it's temporary. And so with all of this, with this entire video, I mean to say that you simply just can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. You can't help someone who doesn't already have like a slight inclination to help themselves. Like, if you want someone to go to the gym for their own good, right, you can only convince them when they've already thought slightly about it. When they've already thought, you know, maybe I should go to the gym. And then you start talking to them, you know, you should go to the gym. And then that slowly gets them onto your side, right? But if you are trying to convince someone who has never gone to the gym, doesn't want to go to the gym, you're fighting a losing battle. It's never going to work out unless they themselves have a reason to commit to it. If they don't, you might as well be talking to a wall. And so if you're on this journey, right, and if you are seeing more and more people that, you know, it could change their lives. It's it's sad to know that they probably won't. Right? It's sad to just keep on encountering these people who you know certain things that could help them change their lives for the better. But you also know that they just wouldn't be able to accept the words that you say. They just wouldn't be able to accept the ideas and they wouldn't change. And with that comes guilt in a sense right you you feel guilty that you can't help them but i would say that the guilt is misguided in a sense that guilt is fundamentally based off of your inclination that you can change them i mean you can see this all the time with i mean you can see this most often with women and uh changing their boyfriends that's kind of a stereotype but i mean it's the one that i think most people can think about right it's like oh i can change him I mean, does it ever work out in real life, that is? No. It almost never works out that way because you can't change someone who doesn't want to be changed. And so this guilt that we feel is, mis is misguided because there's an illusion of control. We think that we can control other people, but we can't. We can't control other people. We simply can't. It's just not in our sphere or our domain of control. And that's how to essentially cope with this guilt. Because if you've developed yourself for long enough, you're eventually going to find, you're eventually going to be like, be at this point where you're at a point where other people are not. You see how changing certain things of other people's lives can elevate them, but it's simply just not in your control. And so whenever you see someone who is vehemently against changing for the better, or what you think of as better. Just know that's not in your control. And I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't just talk, you shouldn't just suggest to people who seem kind of open about it, right? Like, if a person's kind of open, why not suggest them to change for the better, you know? If they're vehemently against, it's like, there's no, there's no amount of speaking, there's no amount of talking that you could do that could change their minds. They are just stuck in their own ways. You know, it's like, with addicts, addicts, you can't change an addict for the better unless they decide themselves to change. But anyway, that's just another example of someone you can't change unless they themselves want to change. This has helped you. Subscribe, like, drop a comment maybe, share, turn on notifications. What else is there? Can you, dis can you like and dislike at the same time? Anyway, just, just engage, alright? I'll see ya.